Hey guys, PJ here. Just gonna do a little uh, show of modifications I've done on my Lixada wood stove. This is the hinged version. Uh, let's take it out. And you notice, first thing are these right here. So you what those are in just a second. But those replace these right here for this application. Now that depends on my pot size that I take with me, but for this and my alcohol uh, burn, this is what I'm going to use here. These two little things here, and they're just bent, bent a little bit like that. But if you notice, once I keep my pin in there, I found out that if I put that in, it just helps me get it back in the pouch a little bit better. You got a little swivel on there that keeps all that attached. That's the perfect height to get it in that little hole. But you'll notice this piece right here is kind of out of whack looking. That's that little air pan at the bottom. Okay. Now what I've done is both sides usually look like this. It has this little flat piece right here that goes in these slots right here just like that what I've done is I've bent one of them 90 degrees and I took about a sixteenth of an inch off of one side just to shorten it up just a hair and I'll show you why that way it lets it slide this way just a little to get it out of the way of the hinges that way you can fold it up inside of it. Okay. Now when you want to take it and put it together, just pull this out. Just fold that down. See that? I'm not holding it anymore. It's staying up by itself. See that? Then you can just take and put it together. Just like that. Okay. You want to take it apart. Take it out. Fold it up, fold it in. I say I'll put my that rod back in there. It just helps helps these little pieces from catching on the case. But uh, let me show you put it back together, and I'm gonna show you how I use my Trangia with it. Because I don't use the the little uh, holder that come with it. So again, just take that, flip it out. It's not nothing great, but it definitely helps, especially like right now. My hands are freezing. It's 30, my thumb, 36 degrees out here, and it's pretty cold. This right here is a ash pan. When I'm out, I'll take it and put it underneath it. Just like that. It just helps keep all the embers from hitting my hands. My alcohol. I'm going to show you a different way of using it. You notice on the side, this slit, I've made two holes up above it. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, because these right here will slide right through these little notches and they'll lock right in the, right in there. See that? They lock right in. And you can just sit your pot right on top of that. Now, you can't do this with a big pot, the pot I use. It's 1100 millimeter totes, and I have a little Snow Peak titanium cup. I also got Pathfinder uh, 48 ounce that fits right down in here. I've got the uh, Pathfinder cup, it fits right down in here. But I'm going to show you these right here will slide. I got two holes the same on the other side, these will slide right inside here, just like that. The reason I like this is because I can put my Trangia right inside here and I can access it so easy. And if I want to use wood, I'll just take these out and I've got two little notches on each side of the top. And these things right here, they just sit right there. And if I'm going to use my cup with the handles, uh, well, no, that was the other button. But anyway, that'll fit up there. And I 
get up there. Doesn't doesn't affect the wood burning at all. The fire still comes up around it. But what I was gonna say about the handles on the little cup, if you're using this version here, your pot, this pot will slide right down in there. Cup, you can't put it like this. You have to put it put it, the handle goes right in that little notch right there. And it sits right on there. It's still hitting it just a hair, but not much. But here, let me take this. I got this little lighter at the dollar store for just like a dollar. <laughs> Love it. See that big long thing? Perfect for that. I'm not going to do a full bowl test or anything. I just want to show you how to use it for alcohol. Because like I say, so you can take that and stick that in there. Simmer. Really easy. And pull it out. I can snuff it out. This, my ash pan that's normally under there when I got fire. I got a wood fire. I use this wind block for that big hole. This whole system acts as a as my windscreen and all, all in this unit. And it's pretty good. The transient, depending on where you put it, it's so much different. I mean, Hiram Cook says an inch, but I haven't had much luck with mine like that. It takes like 11 minutes for it to boil two cups of water with mine at an inch. This one's probably about an inch and three eighths off the top of it. It'll take about 6.45 to 7.5, 7.45, depending on conditions. Inside here, it's usually about 6.45, somewhere around there. In here with no air. But that's it, guys. I mean, really, just another way to use it. And that, these just come right out. That comes down. Sorry guys, my hands are freezing. I could probably touch that thing while it was lit and wouldn't even been able to feel it. <laughs> Just to say that, I'm gonna check it and make sure. But take the rod out. Now depending on how you hold it, when you do this, see that comes out. That'll fold up. Fold over. And the reason I do that little, I took that little app in is so, because if you don't, it'll hinge and it won't fold down. If you let that slide that way just a little, then it'll go down. And I'll put that in there. And I always put it in bottom first, that way when I pull it out. That's it guys, just a couple little mods to my Lexada wood stove. Hope you guys liked it. Have a good one.